Welcome everybody. This is lesson seven for our muscular system unit. We're going to talk today about the propagation of action potentials down a neuron. So we spoke last time of how an action potential occurs on one location along a nerve, uh, along the axon. Um, we talked about the idea that you have sodium uh, channels opening up, allowing sodium to rush in, causing depolarization. And then we have potassium channels opening up that allow the, uh, the, the membrane to be repolarized. So we have depolarize, depolarization and repolarization. So the, the next step is to really talk about how that works in terms of making the signal move from one end of the nerve to the other. So we're always going in one direction, remember that, because nerves only send signals in one direction. And they're heading down to what is known as the presynaptic terminals. And of course, one of the things that we have to avoid, and this would obviously be really bad if it actually occurred in your nerves, is we don't want signals to start heading one direction and then backfire. In other words, start heading the wrong direction down the nerve. Um, it simply would not work. So we're going to talk about how that occurs. So best way to do this is to sort of imagine this. This is our big, gigantic nerve here. And then that long, skinny part is where the axon is. And we are heading from, in this case, left to right, the signal. And right here is where we have our action potential. In other words, if you were to zoom in on this location, this is where our sodium gates would be opening up. And we'd have the depolarization occurring right there. So how do we get that little section to move? Okay, that's where we're, we're headed here. So this, we are zooming in down here on what's going on. And you can see the, the charge here is where um, everything happens. We have this charge that on most of the cell is positive on the outside and negative on the inside. Now, we, we've talked about this before, but let's reiterate that that occurs, that positive on the outside and negative on the inside occurs because of that sodium potassium pump. We're pumping lots of sodium on the outside and we're pumping potassium in here. And I know sodium and potassium are both positive ions, but there's more sodium on the outside than there is potassium on the inside. So that gives you a relative positive charge out here and a relative negative charge here. And what's happening in this section here, this action potential area, is that we're actually letting that sodium come in. And that flip-flops the charge. So we go um, into, we have positive on the inside and negative on the outside, um, all caused by those sodium gates. Now realize that when, this is the key to all of this, that when sodium comes rushing in through these gates here, it's going to spread out by diffusion. So it's, and this is a very small space, so this occurs very quickly that the sodium ions are going to spread in this direction and also in the other direction. Um, what is going to occur now is that as the sodium's moving into the cell, it is going to trigger the next area to open up the gates because we're going to change the voltage on this membrane just enough that it's actually going to trigger the gates to open. Um, So that opens the gates in the next section. And so it's a little bit like domino, you know, a stack of dominoes falling over that we open up the gates here and it, the sodium drifts down here and causes this to open up these gates. Now, obviously, the next step is that sodium is going to come in here. It's going to drift down here and it's going to open up the next gate. And that continues to occur. Now, the question is, why doesn't it actually go backwards? And the reason is, is because once those sodium gates have opened up, they actually have a what's called a refractory period. A refractory period is simply the time in which it is unable to fire again. It can't open up the gates. So these sodium gates in this location are simply unable to open up because they've just opened up, which means that the direction of this has to continue from left to right and it cannot go backwards. And I believe that is it.
I will, uh, we will try to show you a video of this as well and get that on there as well. But um, that is all the notes of today. And it's just simply understanding that sodium is going to um, continue to rush in and move down the membrane and cause the next set of channels to open up. And as that occurs, we continue to move the action potential from one end of the nerve to the next. All right, thank you guys very much.